Hey everyone, Farmhand Mike here, and behind me is a new Deutz Far 8280 tractor with the TTV transmission. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the three different modes you can run this transmission in and how to do it. We just got this tractor in. This is the new matte black color. Let's take a look at it. All right, we got the 1400 uh, kilogram weight, just a tad over 3,000 pounds. Front three point PTO, all that good stuff. What do you think of that color? All right, let's jump up in the cab and talk about the transmission controls. This Deutz Far 8280 tractor I'm in is just about like the one that I had in the fall on the grain cart. That was in the gloss black. Again, this one is the matte black here. But I didn't go into the specifics on the tractor, so I'm going to go into that on the transmission here. And I'm going to do some future videos showing you the other side. But let's just go through the cab real quick here and talk about the controls. All right, to start here, we got our tilt and telescopic steering wheel. We have our shuttle lever for forward and reverse. If you don't like to use that, you can also use a forward and reverse here by holding a consent button on the back side here. One thing on the Deutz Far tractors is everything is color coded. So anything you see that is orange in color has to do with the engine or the transmission as far as moving the tractor. Anything that is blue is hydraulics. Anything that is green has to do with the three-point hitch. We have some more adjustments under here. And a little bit different color green here has to do with the auto steer. All right, here's our PTO, so we can run this in 540, 1000, or economy mode. We have the eye monitor inside the tractor here. Two remote control levers here. We also have a play button or end to row command. Have two different transmission settings here. Engine RPM settings here. This is our increase and decrease speed lever right here. Now I'll start the tractor and we'll talk about the transmission. Right here we have a mode button. This will run this transmission in three different modes. I can change mode simply by pressing that. When I press that button on the dash or on the eye monitor, you will see we got automatic mode right there. Press the button again. PTO mode. Press the button again in manual mode. It also changes up here as I press the button between manual auto and pto mode this is a ttv transmission in other words a cvt transmission so you can run this in the manual mode and you can run it kind of like a power shift if you want to so what you do is you put the tractor in forward or reverse okay this tractor does have an electronic park brake, so I can release the brake just by pressing the switch, or as long as I'm in the seat, I can throw the shift lever forward, give the tractor a little throttle, bump the shift lever, and the tractor will start moving, and the brake will release on its own. To run the tractor in the manual mode, which I'm in right now, is real simple. Uh, we put our tractor into the direction we want to go, so right now, I'm going to put the tractor in the forward, all right, and we are moving. So I can increase my throttle with the hand throttle, or I can use the foot throttle down here. And I can increase my speed just by pushing that forward, holding it, or I can bump it. I can also then just shuttle and change direction without stopping. Another nice feature on this tractor is on the directional lever, we have five different settings where we can change 
how harsh this tractor moves from forward to reverse. So if you want to feel it going from forward to reverse, we got what we call H2, H1, medium, soft one, and soft, soft two. Again, what that does, if you're doing a lot of shuttle work going forward to reverse, you can, uh, if you want to feel that engagement a little bit as you're changing direction, you would want to put it on like H2, but if you want a real soft setting, then you could back that off where there's going to be a little bit of a delay, but it's going to be a really, really smooth transition between forward and reverse or reverse and forward. The other thing I can do is if I want to if I don't want to use that lever right there and go forward, I can hold a button underneath here, the consent button, hit the forward. Okay, I'm going really slow right now, but I can increase that speed just by holding that and I can slow down by pulling back or you can bump it. That is how the manual mode works. Now, to change between the modes, the tractor does have to be stopped, so you will have to come to neutral, and then I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna press and hold the mode button for a second. I'm in manual, and I'm gonna press that button, and it went to automatic. Now, I can do a couple different things in automatic. It's real easy. I can put in some preset speeds if I want to. So we're gonna put the tractor in the forward here. It's showing that the tractor's in forward. And I'm just gonna step on the accelerator pedal. And the tractor's moving. If I let up, the tractor comes to a stop. So in the automatic mode, I can actually run this like an automobile. Step down on the accelerator pedal, the tractor will increase speed. As I let off, the tractor will decrease speed. In the automatic mode, I got two different presets, so I can set a preset speed in here. So I got preset one on 8.5 mile an hour, preset two on five. If I want to change that, I can go in here, and let's say I want to take that up to 9.5. So 9.5, hit the check mark, and there I go. And I can control them presets with preset one and preset two. So once my tractor is moving, I can hold the consent button and hit preset one or preset two. The other thing I can do in the automatic mode is we can change this to run an economy to a power. So as I turn this knob right here, notice as I increase that, that'll take me to a maximum. And as I turn it down, that'll take us to an economy or minimum version. I'm gonna turn it in between. And then we can also set how fast we want this transmission to change speeds up and down as I push that forward or backwards right here, how fast it responds. We can also set our reverse speed. So right now the tractor is set that it will go no faster automatically than 3.1 mile an hour. Again, if I wanted to change that, I could just go in here, change my number, hit the check mark, right back. So let's go back to forward. All right, again, I'm gonna drive the tractor in the automatic mode. So I got preset number one at 8.5 mile an hour and preset two at five. So let's just say, for example, I'm out here pulling a silage wagon and the forage harvester is running five mile an hour. Now I need to go and catch up to him so I can run at any speed I want. But if he's running five mile an hour and I want to maintain five mile an hour, I can get right beside the forage harvester and then I can set my preset speed to match his and then I don't have to do anything. The tractor is gonna adjust its engine RPM to run the lowest RPM possible for the best fuel economy, but be able to maintain that speed. So here's how we're gonna do that. First off, let's get moving forward. I'm gonna step on the throttle, and then I'm gonna hit my consent button, 
and now the tractor is running 8.5 mile an hour but it's going to maintain the lowest rpms it can run And then I can go here, hit preset two, and then that's gonna drop me down to five mile an hour. Now I'm gonna go back to one. Once I'm in one, it's gonna take me from five mile an hour where I was in preset two up to 8.5, which I have set for preset one. But if I wanna go faster than 8.5, I can simply just push that lever forward and I can speed up from that 8.5 there and change it that way. The engine will increase RPMs as I do that just to get that speed up, but then it'll come back and find itself in the automatic mode to run as low as possible to give you the best fuel economy. And again, that one knob I showed you for engine RPMs is going to control how fast this responds. So if I was doing something like pulling, say, a silage trailer that was not taking the full power of the tractor, I can set that pretty low. Like when I was running this tractor on the grain cart last fall, I was going back to the truck, and there was times I was running 15 mile an hour across the field, and this engine was only running 1,200 RPM. Now, if I was doing tillage work, something like that, where I'd want my engine to respond quicker, if I hit a tough spot in the field, whatnot, then I would want to turn that knob up more into the power range. And now I'm going to talk about the PTO mode of the transmission. To change into PTO mode, I'm in automatic right now. So I'm going to press the mode button here. And now it went to PTO. Also says PTO mode right now. Now that we're in the PTO mode, I will explain it. I can't really show you. I will explain the PTO mode the best I can to help you understand it. So right here is a Deutz Fahr 8280 tractor running a set of triple mowers that I filmed last summer. So he is in the PTO mode. So what the PTO mode is going to do, to turn your power takeoff shaft, the engine has to be running a certain speed. For example, let's say the engine is running 1800 RPM revolutions per minute, and that turns the power takeoff shaft of the tractor at 1000. So if this farmer goes up a hill, hits a tough spot in the field or whatever, and that engine speed goes down. That's also going to slow down the PTO. So let's say he has to maintain that 1800 all the time, or he can go a little bit less than that, and say he wants to mow here at 15 mile an hour. So he's moving along at 15 mile an hour in PTO mode, but he starts to go up a hill, hits a tough spot, and it starts to work that engine and wants to slow that tractor down. In the PTO mode, the transmission will actually slow down on its own to keep those engine RPMs up to keep that PTO speed running at that desired speed. Now this is some second cutting hay here that's not super high, so probably not gonna be a real issue running the tractor in PTO mode here. I'm just trying to explain it the best I can to help you understand it. Again, I just wanted to give a brief overview of how this transmission works in the different modes. So again, you got three modes. You got manual, automatic, and PTO. These Deutzfahr tractors are built for fuel economy. So having the ability to go to the three different modes is going to give you that best fuel economy to match the application you're running the tractor in. Now, there is a lot of other things on this tractor I can talk about. I'll do that in a separate video. I didn't want to make this too long because... I've done some other videos in the past that have really helped people and you don't have to watch a 20 minute video just to find the part you want to. So as I go forward here, I'll break these videos down and maybe cover the hydraulics, cover the three point, cover the end of row command and stuff like that. The auto steer will get in all that in separate videos. Anyways, if you did like this video, please go down there and hit that thumbs up. Feel free to comment below and check back often. There's always lots of new and exciting farming tractor content stuff coming to my YouTube channel. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.